store has a teddy bear hospital. Hey, why don't we take Mr. Buckles over and get him checked out, okay? Huh? No? Well, that makes sure, they'll make sure he's healthy, just like when we take you to the doctor, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, good afternoon to you, my dear. What exactly brings you here? Is your teddy bear down in the doves? Perhaps it's the chicken pox or the mumps. No, no flu, no cold, not even fleas. Uh-oh, Teddy's got hepatitis C. <laughs> ha! I told you I didn't get her from a hooker. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's uh, right. <laughs> I'm Dr. Phil. On today's show, we're going to address the issue of workplace hostility. My guests are co-workers who are no longer in good terms. I'm going to try and help them see how to again. Now, let's bring out our feuding co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, Superman, thanks for joining us. Now, you two have been allies for a long time, but the attention in the room tells me you're no longer on the best of terms. Uh, what does that make you feel, Batman? Rage. <laughs> the kind of rage that eats at your soul so there's nothing left but the darkness you fight against every night. God, you're such a butt. <laughs> Superman, you obviously have strong negative feelings towards Batman. Um, why don't you tell us about uh, your, well, less than sterling working relationship? Well, everything was fine at the beginning. Uh, we got along great. It was me and Batman and Wonder Woman and a bunch of other superheroes down at the Justice League headquarters. But then, all of a sudden, Batman caught an attitude. I'm the goddamn Batman! <laughs> See? Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Now he goes around saying things like, "But the hero of this city deserves not the one it needs." I can't help my calling. I saw my parents murdered in front of me when I was eight years old. So what? You can't clean out your coffee cup now? <laughs> <laughs> he goes around the office naming things like uh, stapler, bat stapler, paper shredder, bat paper shredder, bat room, <laughs> the bat. <laughs> you start contributing to the budget, you can call things what you like. Well, not all of us were born with a silver spoon in their mouths. I didn't ask for the money! And it's a bat spoon. But let's talk about you guys. <laughs> Go ahead. Where do I begin? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, wash your tights. They got more skid marks on them than a driver's head parking lot. <laughs> If he starts losing at words with friends, he flies around the world, turns back time so he can make a better move. Then like the way the Seahawks game's going, flies around the world, turn back time so they can replay the game. I don't like it. It's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to bring out my next guest. He's someone close to you, Batman, who wants to tell you how your constant bickering with Superman is affecting you. Sure. Okay. First off, I'd like to start off by saying I love your show, Dr. Phil. I watch you every day. And I love your bald head. It's so raw. I'm just going to run my fingers over it. Thank you. Okay, so Batman and Superman started fighting. And it was like really, really hard to listen to. Because I'm a Sagittarius. It's <laughs> triggered me. Ah, I see. <laughs> You're always fighting. I hate it. Stop it. <laughs> Some help here. Robin. Oh, Come here, Betty. Come on. <laughs> Would you stop calling him? He's 30. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, bring out my next guest. She's a member of the Justice League.
we can just work side by side with the two of you for many years. Come on out. Wonder Woman! Oh. Woo. Wonder Woman, you're looking lovely tonight. You uh, make me want to be a better man. Hey, baby, you're <laughs> my kryptonite. Kryptonite kills you, that's not a compliment. Uh, you make me want to be a better man. Where did you steal that from? A Creed song? Oh. <laughs> Why, that the wizard would have never given the scarecrow a brain. 
It's true! Before I had a brain, I was as stupid as a bale of straw! But now I can do complex math equations in my head! <laughs> Go on, ask me what the square root of 864 is. Okay, what is the square root of 864? Well, the square root of 864 is... Life is fucking pointless and I want to die! <laughs> gift a tin man could ever receive. You see? With my heart, I can love. I can feel great passion. <laughs> but a heart is, is also the cruelest gift a tin man could receive. Oh, why? Because what good is love and passion if I don't have a dick? <laughs> Jonas Brothers. 
<laughs> what just happened? Uh, I think our periods um, fell in love and ran away together. But, but they don't look like they're going to be back. No, they don't. <sighs> but if our periods are gone, does that mean that we are? Yeah, we're in menopause. <laughs> 